Today is a new one on the channel and I don't know why I haven't ever done it before, but here we are finally. <laughs> hey Spuds, how's it going? Welcome back to another video your first video on the channel. I don't know, but my name is Jamie, very glad to have you here. How are we all doing today? Yeah, today is something new. I've not done this, it's a new subreddit. It's a little collection of cute LGBT plus themed cartoons that I found quite funny and adorable and I've had people say hey you should do this one in the past and I've just never done it before but we are here now. It's called LG Ball T. Yeah and initially I thought it was something that was all about trans people. It looks like LGB all T and I was like oh is it the opposite of the LGB Alliance who are like, get the T out. I didn't know what it was. And then I looked into it and I realized it was LG ball T. But then what happens to bisexuals? Are bisexuals now balls? Lesbian, gay, ball? transgender? Is that what's happened? <laughs> anyway, it's cute. I think it's based off a specific cartoon style that did not start off as LGBT+. We're just gonna have a look through some of them today. Hello, Grandma, says the little, I'm assuming, lesbian ball. Ah, look who it is, my favourite grandchild, says the, the straight grandmother. Wait, I have something for you. Ooh, what? Oh, surprise. Stay right there. Gasp. Or maybe I should just gasp. <gasps> oh, the grandma's got a pride flag. You are valid and I fully support you. I like this already. This is so cute. Oh, little grandma's like, I got a surprise for you. Is this based on like real scenarios? Please tell me that these are little cartoons based on what's actually happened to people. I'm sure this has happened to somebody. And I love it. Oh, you guys look so cute together. So who's the man in the relationship? Hmm, asks the straight ball to the rainbow ball, and I'm not sure what that ball is. Imagine a pair of chopsticks. Okay, imagining pair of chopsticks. Ooh, which is the fork and which is the spoon? Oh heck. <laughs> that's a good way, that's a good, that's a good way to put it. They're just two chopsticks. Hold on, I'm gonna find out what the, that ball is. Pride flags, pink, green, and blue. Polysexual. Okay, let me know if that's correct. Yeah, I'm gay. Oh, rad. Why? Oh. Oh, sweating. Why? <laughs> That's the strangest response to coming out. You come out to somebody, it's like, oh yeah, hi, I'm trans. Why? I don't know. I just am. <laughs> what a strange response. Why? I mean like, oh, I'm tall. Why? Ugh, gross. No thanks, I'm looking for a real man. I bet you'd cheat on me with a man anyway. Oh. God, I'm so sick of you straight passing poses invading my spaces. You'd probably run off with the first woman you see. Oh. Man, I wish I was bi. You guys have like double the options. Zero times two. Is a thing, isn't it? Too gay for straight people, too straight for gay people. That's, I've heard bisexuality described like that before. Are you a boy or a girl? Says the, is that meant to be a cis ball? Is that how we're representing It looks very similar to the bisexual ball, but it's not bisexual flag. I don't know. I'm new here. I'm non-binary. Oh, well that is a horrible question to receive. No, I mean, do you have a penis or a vagina? I don't have genitals, I'm a ball. Uh and not a testicular kind. Oh, they're both just nasty questions. I would like to see outside of the comic scenario someone just to be like, I'm a ball. Ooh, stop pushing the trans agenda, says the transphobic ball, I'm assuming, the little trans flag with the cross through it. <clears throat> Angry eyes, wide eyes. I don't have a gender. <sighs> I mean, no, I will not laugh at that terrible pun. But I will, because it's funny. <laughs> what are you talking about, a trans agenda? I don't even have a gender. How do you know you're asexual when you never had sex before? Really? Well, did you ever have sex with a guy? No, I'm not gay. But how could you know that you aren't gay and you've never tried it? Um, well, well you just know, don't you? Just like people who aren't straight just know. You don't have to be straight to just know without trying. I want everyone to feel comfortable in my class. Please specify your preferred pronouns. An ally ball, the teacher, happy crying. Thank you. <laughs> that came out way higher pitched than I thought it would. Oh, that, that's, that's important. For the trans and non-binary little balls, students in the class. Oh, that's gonna mean so much. Like, it's so easy to do. Who are we? the LGBT plus community. <laughs> and what do we want? Equal rights. Oh, asexual said world domination. <laughs> oh, we're all looking at this sweating asexual ball. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Why have I heard this before? Why is this a thing? LGBTQIA plus, 
The A stands for ally. No, it doesn't. You guys are so open and wonderful. Why do I hear boss music? The asexual ball has flung the door open and is coming through in a blaze of asexual. Looks like fire, because the A is for asexual. Ally is not in the LGBTQ plus community because allies are, by the very definition of being an ally, not LGBT plus. <laughs> Why are all the guys so hot? Why are all the girls so hot? Why is everyone so hot? Why is my pizza so hot? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, why is pizza so hot? I love this! A straight ball and, oh, a lesbian ball wearing a straight mask. Oh, the mask is a bit small. Hey, I'm lesbian. Taking off the mask. I thought you were American. <laughs> what? Confusion? Uh, what do you say to that? Maybe it would have helped to say, I'm a lesbian. Oh, well, then maybe they just been, I thought you were a American. <laughs> Are you gay? What? No, what the hell, of course not. I mean, I'm cool with gay people, but no, says the straight ball. Hella, says the gay ball. Are you straight? Yes, what else would I be? Do I look gay? Is it my shirt? <laughs> says the straight ball. Nah, says the gay ball. Yeah. There's definitely like a subset of straight balls that have this desperate need to be seen as nothing but straight ever and specifically act in certain ways and protest a lot when asked their sexuality because it's like, they must be straight and people must know that they are straight. Hey, son says the straight ball with a triangle? I don't know what that one means. Yeah. Aw, little trans ball. I realise you only have girl clothes. This is true. So do you want my old shirt? Band merch. Holy shit, band merch. Oh, that's cute. I can't wait for the country convention. Flags. Huh? I've never seen your sexuality before. You must be a new one. I think I goofed up. Well, that's awesome. Welcome to the community. Let's introduce you to the others, shall we? Hey guys, you might be pleased to know that we have a new member of the community. Help. Welcome. Aw, oh, the little German ball got lost. <laughs> oh dear. Gender fluid floats on water. Does it now? <laughs> Step one, wait for it to rain. Step two, cover yourself with gender fluid. Step three, fly. <laughs> oh no. Don't actually do this. Uh, who... Okay. Straight ball, you're never going to get a boyfriend. Oh no, what a nightmare, says the lesbian ball who's not come out yet. Oh dear, how dreadful, however will I get over this? <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Ace's Lab. Today we will be splitting bisexual in half to see if we get one straight ball and one gay ball. I love it, but I don't like the idea of the bisexual ball being guillotined in half. You ready bisexual? Yeah, but I'm pretty nervous. Okay, well here we go. Hey! It didn't work! <laughs> We've got two bisexual balls now. Yes, it's almost like bisexuality isn't just being half straight or half gay, it's its own thing. This is tiny. This stereotype can hurt people from feeling like they aren't bisexual enough because they don't have the exact same level of attraction for the genders they like. The more you know. That last chunk, I feel like I know what they were trying to say. It was just all one sentence and not the best written. But that's, yes, when you, when you cut a bisexual in half, I mean, <laughs> you might get a dead bisexual. But here it was less gruesome. You get two bisexuals, you split them in half, you don't get one gay and one straight ball. I mean, I guess that was the idea, isn't it? They're gonna split them into two balls. Like, dough. Can I tell you something? Oh, oh, I'm lesbian. Hi, lesbian, I'm bi. They both hadn't come out and then they came out to each other. Oh, I love it. Look at the little happy faces. Oh. No. Did an American make this? Oi, mate. What's all this on the agenda? Saying to the bisexual and ace ball. Oh, that's my new beanie. Thanks for noticing, pal. I cheers, mate. Looking dashing. <laughs> There's a new beanie on the agenda. Sorry. <laughs> it's both a funny pun, but then also just like the way people have written British. <laughs> Two bros chilling in a hot tub. Five feet apart because they're not gay. Oh, they are gay. <laughs> that's a new one. Hey, may I ask if you have a boyfriend or a boy crush, perhaps? Ah ha ha ha, well, actually, I'm not interested in guys, I'm a lesbian. You like girls? Like me? Oh my god, don't tell me you have a crush on me. You know I'm straight, right? Oh my god, I've always wanted a gay BFF, though. I have standards, Karen. Karen! <laughs> oh, standards! Oh, I love it. That's a very good one to end on. Wasn't that cute? 
Did you like this first dive into LGBT or, L- or LGBT? I don't even know anymore, but it seems like having the word ball in there makes more sense than it being all the tea. I love that. That was so cute. I would definitely want to do that again. Even if you hated it, I will subject you to another one on the channel. No, I won't. If you really didn't like it. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. If you did like it, maybe think about giving it a thumbs up and subscribing if you want to, but there's no pressure. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Much love. Bye.